The people who come to Comfort Kitchen are just like you and they're just like me. They have hopes and dreams and fears and desires. They want to know that their life has meaning and purpose and they want to be loved and respected. We started Comfort Kitchen about six years ago. There were three of us who were relatively new to Salem Church. And we all had this uh, secret desire to do something to support people who are incarcerated and also their families. Our church is located where the county jail moved to, I think about 2005. In order to see what the church wanted to be involved in to reach out in the community, you look at what's around you. We thought this was an ideal location to start something for the loved ones of people who are incarcerated. And they can share encouragement, stories of hope, um, and then offering a meal where they can just uh, get to know one another and see that they're not alone as they journey through this difficult road. I go into the jail every month and lead the ladies in Bible studies, but now I'm doing grief share with the ladies to help them deal with the loss of loved ones. I have seen Sally uh, just really put people at ease uh, by introducing herself and being very personable with them. Um, she helps people understand that we are all very similar to one another. And I think that's really what makes uh, Sally be able to connect with people is that she understands we have that commonality. I'm probably soon retirement age, but I have no plans to retire because I love working at Volvo. As an executive assistant, my job is really to help people achieve their objectives. But I think people at Volvo realize that I'm sincere when I say that I want to help people begin again. Our main concern is how can we come alongside of people who are struggling with life's challenges? How can we help them understand that they're not alone? Well, one of the things that's helped me the most since I've been involved with this type of ministry is it's helped me really look at my heart. Do I really care what's going on in someone's life and how they're dealing with it? I say I love people, and this is an opportunity for me to really find out if I do. But I've seen brokenness turned into hope and really prosperity emotionally wise. The fact that Volvo is very interested in improving the world or making a better place is very encouraging to me. And the fact that Volvo is always planting good seeds just makes it hopeful that there will be a better tomorrow.